Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you Smith trigger using operational amplifier in great details. In this video, I'll be explaining you few essential fundamentals based on Smith trigger. So before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. First of all, I'll be explaining you basics of Smith trigger. After that, I'll explain you working of Smith trigger by waveforms. And based on waveforms, I'll be explaining you transfer characteristics of Smith trigger. After that, I'll explain you symmetric transfer characteristics of non-inverting Smith trigger and inverting Smith trigger. After that, I'll be explaining you inverting Smith trigger using operational amplifier where I'll be deriving output equations and same thing that I'll be repeating for non-inverting Smith trigger using operational amplifier. And at last, I'll explain applications of Smith trigger. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of Smith trigger. Comparator is used to compare two different voltage signals. Here, if one signal is having noise added with signal, at that time there is a possibility of false triggering at output side. To avoid such issues of false triggering, we use Smith trigger circuit. Let me explain you first how there can be false triggering by comparator. So for that, I am going to consider first case study in which comparator is comparing V1 and V2 and output is comparison of V1 and V2. If V1 is greater than V2, then output will be high. As if V1 is less than V2, at the time output should be low. Here, in first situation, V1 and V2 both are constant DC where there is no noise. So you can observe output is active high only. But as if I add noise with V1, then you see in second scenario, there can be possibility of false triggering like V1 that is going below V2 over here and over here because of noise. So at output side, you see in this region, V1 is lower than V2. That's why there is a negative spike. Over here also, there is a negative pulse. So here, there is a false triggering that is happening because of noise added with input signal. To avoid such issues of false triggering, we use Smith trigger circuit where we can avoid issues of noise up to some extent. So to avoid false triggering, we can use Smith trigger circuit. Smith trigger circuit is a comparator with hysteresis. See in comparator, we compare input signal with one reference voltage level only. But with Smith trigger, we compare V in with VUT and VLD. VUT is upper threshold voltage and VLD that is lower threshold voltage. Now what is the significance of VUT? See if V in that is greater than VUT, at that time there can be transition from low to high. As if V in goes below VLD, at the time there will be transition from high to low at output side. Let me explain you how it happens in waveforms. So here in waveforms, you can observe this is VUT and this is VLT voltage reference level. And here input voltage is shown by green color. Now how output is getting produced? So here input that is lower than VLT and VUT. So but obviously here output will stay low only. But at this instant, at this instant, V in is exceeding VUT, so output will go high over here. Now, see, output will go low only if this V in goes below VLD. So up to this, output will stay high. And at this instant, as V in is going below VLD, output will go low over here. And see, output will go high only if V in goes above VUT. So at this instant, V in goes above VUT, VUT at that time output will be having transition from low to high. Right. And see output can go low only if input goes below VLT. So here at this instant, output will go low as input goes below VLT. So if you observe, input signal. So that is having noise over here. But so many times false triggering is not happening. 
so we can avoid false triggering up to some extent because of hysteresis hysteresis is what hysteresis is having two different voltage reference levels previously we were been comparing input signal with one reference only that's why there was false triggering right but now we are comparing signal with two different voltage reference levels that's why now we will be having very less number of false trigger right now let us try to understand transfer characteristics of smith trigger transfer characteristics is a characteristics in between input and output voltages on x axis you see we have input and on y axis we have output if input exceeds vut at the time there is a transition from low to high and as if input goes below vlt at the time there is a transition from high to low that is how smith trigger functions that i have told you here if you observe this characteristics so that is having hysteresis in between vlt and vut right as we are comparing input with two different voltage reference levels for transition of low to high input should exceed vut for a transition of high to low input should go below vlt now let me explain you symmetric transfer characteristics so in which this characteristic that we are having symmetrically in between v in and v out symmetric means what here vlt that is equals to negative of vut or you can say vut that is negative of vlt and this transfer characteristic that is there for non inverting smith trigger non inverting smith trigger means what in non inverting smith trigger if v in is having voltage which is exceeding vut at the time there is a transition from low to high and as the v in goes below vlt at the time there is a transition from high to low that is non inverting smith trigger circuit and if you want to understand symbol then you see that is how symbol is there where input is v in and output is v out over here and shape is like this which is a shape of this characteristic right now if you wanted to have inverting smith trigger characteristic in which see things are reverse here i am showing you symmetric transfer characteristic means vld is minus of vut right magnitude wise it is same but polarity wise it is opposite that's why it is symmetry in nature where in inverting smith trigger if v in that goes lower than vld at the time there is a transition from low to high and as if v in exceeds vut at the time there is a transition from high to low so here output is invert of input that's why this is inverting smith trigger characteristics if you want to understand symbol of it then see symbol is there as per the characteristic which you see it in hysteresis over here right so same shape that is there in that symbol now let us try to understand smith trigger using operational amplifier first of all i'll explain you inverting smith trigger using operational amplifier let me explain you the circuit first see in inverting smith trigger circuit input is given to inverting terminal and with smith trigger circuit we will be having positive feedback so here in positive feedback we have resistance r2 and r1 is grounded over here now let me explain you how this circuit functions so here this op amp that is there in differential configuration let us say at this terminal potential is v dash so comparison of v in and v dash will be resulting output over here as if i say v in that is greater than v dash so at that time what has to be my output my output should be you see v in is greater than v dash negative is greater than positive means output will be negative so it will be minus of it will be getting saturated towards minus v ideally and this is lower output voltage so here i am saying that is vl over here right so in transfer characteristics you see low output is vl over here right that is happening at this instant now in second situation as if v in is lower than v dash at that time what is my output my output will be you see v in is less than v dash means positive is greater compared to negative 
so output will be positive and it will be going to saturated towards plus v as per this biasing right and this is higher voltage so i'm saying this is vh at output so here we have vh at output right now here we need to understand what is the value of v dash the reason is here transition from high to low and low to high that is happening as and when vn crosses v dash so what is the value of v dash so v dash is happening at this terminal v dash is happening at this terminal and v out that is coming over here right so by simply potential divider rule one can calculate this so what is v dash v dash that is you see this v out into here see this resistance is grounded so into this resistance r1 divided by addition of these two resistance that is r1 plus r2 so v dash is this so here vut and vld that is happening based on v in comparison with v dash so v dash is happening as per vut and vld that is this voltage only so if you wanted to have vld so in that situation here instead of v out you will have to multiply vl over here so here vld that will be vl into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 and if you wanted to have vut so that is instead of v out now we need to replace it by vh so vh into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 that is how vut and vld can be calculated over here as if you want to calculate hysteresis then hysteresis is a difference of vut and vld so that is vut minus vld that is how one can calculate hysteresis now let us see how non-inverting smith trigger circuit can be deployed using operational amplifier let me explain the circuit of non-inverting smith trigger first if you observe non-inverting smith trigger in which input is given to non-inverting terminal and with smith trigger circuit always remember we have positive feedback here if you want to understand working then what is output output is there based on voltage at this terminal let us assume voltage at this terminal is v dash so here as if i say v dash is greater than zero so in that situation what should be my output positive terminal that is greater than negative terminal means v out will be having positive voltage and that will be going to saturate it towards plus v and in terms of value let us say this is higher voltage so vh so in characteristics it will be happening somewhere over here that is vh and as if v dash is lower than zero means v dash is negative so in comparison over here output will be how much output will be going to saturate it towards negative v value so minus v and in terms of value let us say it is vl so that vl that will be happening somewhere over here right now we need to understand what is the value of v dash as if you want to calculate value of v dash then you see v dash that is happening at this terminal and v out that is happening at this terminal now if you want to calculate v dash because of v in at that time you will have to ground v out and if you want to calculate v dash because of v out at that time you will have to ground v in so v dash because of v in that is how much v in into now this terminal is grounded so this resistance that is r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and v dash because of v out at that time you will have to ground v in so here v out into this resistance which is grounded now so that is r1 divided by r1 plus r2 so that is what the value of v dash now you see this v dash that is compared with zero right so transition of high to low and low to high that happens as and when v dash is equals to zero so as transition happens at v dash is equals to zero this input that will be having vut and vld value now by comparing v dash is equals to zero so if you compare this v dash as per zero what is my v in see if it is zero then this term that will go on other side and this r1 plus r2 that will get cancelled 
so v in that will be equal to minus of v out into r1 divided by r2 right so that is how transition will happen as if v in is having value that is minus v out into r1 by r2 so if you want to understand that over here with vlt and vut then you just need to substitute v out is equals to vh and v out is equals to vl in this equation right so if you wanted to have vlt then for vlt calculation we need to substitute v out is equals to vh so your vlt will be minus of vh into r1 by r2 see this minus sign that will be appearing over here why the reason is in this we have negative sign and if you wanted to have vut at that time you have to substitute v out is equals to vl so vut will be how much minus of vl into r1 by r2 and here you see negative sign is there vh is positive so vlt will be negative and here negative sign is there so vl that is negative so negative negative will be positive that is how vut and vlt will be there with us right so based on this calculation one can calculate vut and vlt and based on it one can have hysteresis what is hysteresis hysteresis is vut minus vlt so that is how one can have negative and positive smith trigger circuit or you can say inverting and non inverting smith trigger circuit now let us talk about applications see smith trigger gives better noise immunity with comparator so usually we use smith trigger circuit as a comparator only where because of hysteresis we have better noise immunity in terms of circuit functioning smith trigger can be used as a wave shaping circuit as well as well as smith trigger can be used in analog to digital conversion so that is how basics are there with smith trigger circuit i hope you have understood all those things still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video